Hello everyone. Welcome back to Learning English is Fun. Today is a whole new topic, which is about the different word forms. There are several word forms. They are nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections, and articles. We will be covering nouns for today. Nouns. A noun is a word that names something, such as a person, place, things, or idea. The first is to name a person, and the example is Jessica, my father, a girl. The second is for naming a place. For example, Mount Everest, America, my house. The last is for naming a thing, such as a book, love, and ball. There are the proper and common nouns. Proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, thing, and is always capitalized. For example, Apple is my favorite company. Apple is the name of a specific thing, or rather, company. The second example is. Australia is where koala bears can be found. Australia is the name of a specific place, country. The proper nouns are underlined, as shown in the slide here, which is Apple and Australia. Common noun is a generic name of an item, and is not capitalized unless appearing at the beginning of a sentence or in a title. For example, a boy and a bear are in a boat. The common nouns are underlined, as shown here, as boy, bear, and boat. Here, we do not know the identity of the boy and the bear, but we only know that they are in a boat. For the common nouns, there are three subtypes. The first is concrete nouns. The second, abstract nouns. The last, collective nouns. Now, look out for the underlined words in each slide. The first type of the common noun is concrete noun. Concrete noun can be recognized by the senses, or something which is real or physical. For example, the dog. Rushed up to me. I finished reading my book. Dog and books are real and physical things that can be sensed. Hence, they are concrete nouns. The second type of the common noun is abstract noun. Abstract noun cannot be perceived by the senses. For example. Love is needed in this society. Without courage, you simply will not be able to take chances and make mistakes. Love and courage are abstract nouns. They can't be seen, heard, or sensed in any way, but we know they exist. The third type of common noun is. Collective noun. The collective noun is a group of people or things. For example, Susan was given a quiver of arrows by Father Christmas. The crowd of people sits down around the stage. Quiver of arrows and crowd of people are used as a collective noun. They are also used as a singular noun. There are also two types of nouns, which are singular and plural nouns. The first type is singular nouns. Singular nouns require singular verbs. For example, the cat is very playful. 
This movie is very engaging. And the singular verbs are cat and movie in these two examples here. The word is refer to the singular verbs. The second type is plural nouns. Plural nouns require plural verbs. Most plural nouns can be formed by adding s or es to the singular form, though there are exceptions. For example, the cats are very playful. The taxes have been paid for. The plural nouns are the cats and taxes, as shown in these two examples here. The plural verbs are are and have, as shown in these two examples here. Some of the exceptions to the plural nouns are here. There are of course more. You can check out the link for more exceptions in the comment section below. There are two more types of nouns which are countable and uncountable nouns. The first is countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns which can be counted, even if the number can be very high. For example, the number of animals in the world. The countable nouns are used with a or an, the, some, any, a few, and many. For example, there is a book here. There are a few dishes on the table. There are many trees in these woods. The words in red are the words used along with the countable nouns, while the words underlined are the countable nouns in these examples here. The second form of nouns is uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are nouns that come in a state or quantity that is impossible to be counted. It is considered as singular and can be used with some, any, a little, and much. For example, there is too much rice to finish. A little playtime for you is not acceptable. The uncountable nouns are bolded, which are rice and playtime. The word is shows that they are uncountable and considered as singular. The words that go with them also shows that rice and playtime are uncountable nouns. The last type of noun is possessive nouns, a rather simple one. Possessive nouns are nouns that have something. It is identified by a noun followed by an apostrophe and s. For example, his, cats, girls. For example, his book is missing. The cat's owner is not home yet. The girl's lesson is not over yet. The bolded words are the possessive nouns, as shown in the examples here. Do take note that plural nouns ending in S take only an apostrophe to form a possessive noun, as shown in the last example here. Okay, so here are some citations. I will leave them in the comment section below for you to check them out. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope you have learned something new today. Do check out my next video on pronouns and subscribe if you have not yet done so. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.